What's going on guys? Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. This is tips, tricks, and cool features for the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G. In this video, I'm going to be going over some different features for this phone that you might not know about. But before we go any further, I do want to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. That being said, let's get into the video. So the first feature I want to show you is what's called quick capture. This is basically an extra way to open your camera that's a lot faster than going to the camera app, especially if you're doing something on the phone already. So this feature is not enabled by default. So what we're going to do first is go to the settings menu, go to system right here, gestures and quick capture. Make sure it's toggled on. And when it is, no matter where you are on your phone, all you need to do to open your camera is go like this. It is a little bit tricky at first and takes some getting used to to get the motion down, but once you have it all down, it's so much faster than just opening the camera app, especially if you're already doing something on a different app and you're not on your home screen. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to change your color mode. This is a really cool feature and it's one thing that I really like about the display of this phone. Changing your color mode basically allows you to either show more vivid colors, which is going to use up a little bit more battery, or the other way around, you can tone down the colors so you can save battery too. So what we're going to do is go to settings, display, advanced, and colors right here. So as you can see, it's at saturated, which is basically the highest one. You can also change it to boosted. And this is gonna give you a little bit more life in the colors, but it's not gonna be quite as powerful as saturated. If you want it to just be completely normal, you can hit natural. And this is basically the unaltered version of it. And this could save you some battery too. I personally have it at saturated just because this phone has a really big battery anyway and I usually don't need to worry about battery life plus saturated just looks so much better in my opinion but definitely play around with it and see which one works out best for you. The next thing I'm going to show you is a different way to take a screenshot besides the normal way. The normal way to take a screenshot, in case you didn't know, is simply by pressing the power key and the volume down key at the same time. And keep in mind, you don't actually have to hold it. All you need to do is press it and it's going to take the screenshot. That being said, there's actually a cooler way to take a screenshot that can be more convenient depending on the circumstances. So what we're going to do is go to settings, system, and gestures to make sure it's enabled. Right here, we see three finger screenshot. Go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, mine is already on. If yours is not, of course, you're gonna wanna toggle it on. And with this feature activated, what you're gonna wanna do is put three fingers anywhere on the screen as long as they're apart from each other and hold them just for a second. And there we go, the screenshot has been taken. It's really cool that you can actually do it this way because there are some situations where it might be a little awkward to have to go like this and use the buttons to take a screenshot. It's not quite as fast as Samsung's variant of this feature, but it's still really nice to have because lots of other phones in the same price range as this one don't have a feature like this at all. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a quick way to put your phone on vibrate. Do you like to use your ringtone? Maybe you normally like to have your ringtone on, but you're going into a movie or a meeting or somewhere where you have to have your phone silenced. Well, this is the perfect solution. What you're gonna to wanna to do is press the power key like you're about to take a screenshot, but instead of pressing the volume down key, you're gonna to wanna to press the volume up key instead. That's gonna do what's called prevent ringing, which just puts your phone on vibrate, so you don't have to worry about it going off when you're doing something where you can't be making sound. The next thing I'm gonna show you is another gesture that I really like, and this is fast flashlight. This is a gesture that actually turns on your flashlight so you don't have to go into your quick menu to do it. In case you don't know, in case you don't know where the quick menu is, this is what I'm talking about. You have to swipe down twice and then the flashlight is right here, but this is a lot faster. What we're gonna do is go to settings, system, gestures, 
and fast flashlight, make sure this is activated. And then all you need to do to turn on your flashlight is go like this. I will say it is a little bit tricky to do, especially when you're doing it for the first time. But just like quick capture, once you get the motion down, it does get easier and more comfortable. To turn off the flashlight, you do the same thing. And there we have it. Again, a little tricky, but definitely a nice feature to have. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to use the screen recorder. Surprisingly, lots of mid-range phones don't have a good screen recording tool, but this phone does and it's really easy to use. What you're gonna wanna do is open the quick menu, scroll one to the left, and hit screen record start. And that's pretty much it. It's gonna have a confirmation, hit start, and you're gonna be good to go. Once you wanna stop recording the screen, just hit the stop button and it's gonna stop. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a feature called attentive display. If you've seen my beginner's guide, I did go over how to change the screen timeout so the phone won't fall asleep while you're doing something. But this is a step further. Attentive display uses the front facing camera to detect your face and as long as you're looking at it, and it detects your face, it won't shut off. I think this is actually really nice because the drawback of having a really long screen timeout time is it'll drain the battery if you don't lock the screen when you're not using it. So having it like this gives you the ability to set a shorter screen timeout time, but also still prevents the phone from falling asleep while you're actually using it. So what we're gonna do is go to settings, display, advanced, and attentive display. Make sure it's activated. In the first time you do this, it's gonna ask for permission and make sure you just hit this and it's gonna have you register your face. And once you do that, it's gonna be all good to go. The next thing I'm gonna show you is another way to get into your notification center. In case you don't know, the notification center is part of the quick menu where you swipe it down once and it's gonna show you all the notifications you have. So what we're gonna do is go to settings, go to system, and then go to gestures one more time. And right here at the top, we're gonna hit swipe fingerprint for notifications, turn this on. And now with this on, all you need to do to get to your notifications is swipe your fingerprint scanner down like this. Now I personally don't really use this feature. It is a little annoying when you accidentally press your fingerprint scanner and your notification center will drop down but I do recommend trying it out because you might like it. The next thing I'm gonna show you is called adaptive brightness. What this does is automatically adjusts the brightness of your display based on your environment. This is nice because it allows you to have enough brightness to still see the display without draining the battery like it does when the brightness is always at 100%. So let's go to settings, display, and adaptive brightness right here. We're gonna turn this on. As you can see, it dimmed a little bit because it turns out I didn't actually need the brightness to be all the way at 100%. If you ever wanna turn it off, just hit the same button and it's gonna go back to normal. Although be aware that you'll have to put the brightness back at 100% or whatever you want it by yourself. The last thing I'm gonna show you is a feature called split screen. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm really not a huge fan of this feature. There's some times when I'm doing things that absolutely requires it just for the purposes of convenience. But to me, having split screen, which is basically two apps open at once, just overwhelms me. Now you might like it. A lot of people like it a lot more than I do, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So we're gonna go to the gestures menu once more. And in case you forgot, it's settings, system, gestures, and swipe to split, we're gonna make sure this is activated. Now, as you can see by these little directions right here, all you need to do to open split screen is swipe back and forth. So to try this out, we're gonna go to Google Chrome and let's see if we can get it to work. There we go, we got it to work and now you can open whatever app you want as long as it's compatible. As you can see, Instagram was not compatible, but most other apps like YouTube, for example, are compatible. 
so I definitely recommend playing around with it a little. I'm not a huge fan, but split screen does come in handy when you're trying to do specific tasks at once. But those were my tips, tricks, and cool features for the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you found these tips and tricks useful as well. If you want to get more information about the phone, be sure to check out my full review of the device on the channel. And if you haven't already, definitely check out the beginner's guide, especially if you're new to Android or smartphones in general. It has lots of useful tips and tricks to get you started. But that's it for today. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.